Hi there. What if I told you that God was calling you back from an abusive or a tyrant man? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi, I'm Jen Grice from JenGrice.com. I'm a divorce mentor and a boundary coach. I help women embrace life and move on past divorce so that they can get to healing. So my instruction comes from Isaiah 54 today. Um, I believe that God called me back from my husband. In, in this chapter 54 of Isaiah, um, God is talking about how Israel will be restored like a widow who is rescued from her reproach. And reproach is disapproval from others you know, maybe her husband, or disappointed hopes. Um, that's what happens in divorce, is that all the hopes and dreams of a bright future are gone and diminished. Isaiah 54, 6 talks about how God is um, calling you back from your grief. Other versions use the word wounded spirit, um, and I will gather you, he says in verse 7. And it goes on to say that he is our redeemer. Your maker is your husband. He can supply a husband or even better, he can supply himself. That's because God will never forsake you. Abandon, forsake means abandon, desert, leave, disown, discard you and I know a lot of us women feel that we have been abandoned and discarded um, especially if you're married to a narcissist an abuser or an adulterer you feel like you have been left and God is saying I am taking you back from this despair I'm taking you back from this reproach I want to restore you and redeem you. I want to give you hope and a brighter future. And as we move on in Isaiah 11 through 17, he talks about the promises of prosperity, peace, and protection that those come from God. In Isaiah 13, Isaiah 54, 13, he talks about um, we can take comfort that our children will be taught by the Lord that they are in his hands, even though things seem hopeless and scary, that God is still in control. So single mothers can find comfort in these verses in Isaiah that God will be your husband. God will be your children's father. He's the father to the fatherless, and he will help you and guide you as you move forward, as you take hold of your home and as you allow him to lead you and guide you into the future. In Isaiah 54, 17, it says in the Amplified Version, the peace, righteousness, security, and triumph over oppression is the heritage of all the servants of the Lord. So if you are a servant of the Lord and you've given your life to Christ, and you, even though you stay with a tyrant husband thinking that is God's will, I want to challenge you today to really dig deeper into the word and ask God as if, if he is taking you back. Or if you're divorced and you're really struggling and holding on to hope that you'll be restored with your husband, I want you to really seek God and his answers for you that, Maybe he was taking you back. Maybe he was taking you back because he had a better purpose for your life than to stay with somebody who is only going to hurt you even further. I believe that women who are in an abusive marriage or with somebody that doesn't lift them up and show them that they're what their purpose is in Christ or allow them to be what God has created them to be, that God calls them back. This revelation came to me when I was going through my divorce, and I actually was in divorce care, which I suggest, and the verse kept popping up that I will take you back, 
um, in Isaiah and some other verses in the Bible. And I really had to look and say, was God releasing me from my marriage to do better things? Was God, did God have a purpose for my life that I didn't even know that he had? And maybe that didn't include wife. And maybe that didn't include housewife. And because that's what I was doing at the time. And when I really started to ask God to show me if he was taking me back, and I just surrendered and said, whatever your will is at this point, God, if that means I'm divorced and I'm using my life to serve you and your purpose, I'm fine with that. And I also said, you know, God, I don't want to live in an oppressive marriage any longer. I want to be able to do your will and do ministry and that sort of thing. But I also said, God, if it is your will that I shall be reconciled with my husband, this was while we are still married, that there has to be some huge changes in in the marriage itself so that I can do ministry and I can do his your will. And as I prayed and as I surrendered and gave everything to God, I realized divorce was the only way that God could take me back and use me for his purpose. So because God took me back today, I am able to do something like this, set up a video and talk about what has happened to me and show you that there is hope for a future after divorce and that God sometimes takes us back so that we can be everything that he wants us to be. God needs people to minister to the hurting. And we are living in a world where divorce, even in the church, is at 50% and growing. And somebody has to walk with all these people. God wants to use you and your grief to help others. You just have to surrender to his will. Whether that means divorce or not, that's that's between you and God. I can't answer that for you, but I want to encourage you that through my life, I can show you that there's hope and healing after divorce. I want to thank you for joining me today and watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also check out my blog at jengrice.com where I have a lot of hope and healing and posts about how to find peace after divorce. I will see you next time. Thank you.